Hello everybody, good evening, welcome to another video. Happy New Year, this is uh, my first video for 2022. I know I'm a few days late to the party, so I apologize for that. However, uh, all in good reason. Uh, on January 2nd, I decided to go full-fledged into my workout routine and weight loss routine, and um, as such, I've been in a lot of pain. Uh, today especially, I've had uh, pretty much a hot pad on since, uh, uh, I don't know, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So between that and some uh, good old high-powered Tylenol and whatnot, it's just been, it's just been crazy. Also, the last few weeks, uh, right prior to the holiday, uh, Los Angeles started receiving an exuberant amount of rain that um, essentially led to some things that I had to take care of around the house and basically took me away from, uh, you know, focusing on things that uh, really mattered. So I apologize for that. I'm here in the Bull TV tonight. Uh, just got back from the office. I've been working pretty much... Uh, into the nights uh, this week specifically. On um, Monday, I started a, a new training class, an IT training class for uh, network engineers. So I, uh, I've i been doing that during the day. And then of course, I, I have my normal duties to tend to, you know, in the afternoons and evenings after I get my, my labs and stuff done for the class. Uh, all that said, I wanted to come back uh, to you guys and record this video. Uh, nothing crazy, just thought I'd share an update uh, that GM came out with. Uh, I read about it a little bit ago uh, after I had a chance to, you know, walk around and stretch a little bit. And um, it's kind of a, a small uh, update, but you know what, it's, it's worth mentioning because it uh, shines a little bit more light onto... Um, you know, the issues that we're all facing as Chevy Bolt EV owners. Um, in a nutshell, uh, GM came out and said that they would offer little window cling, uh, I guess, stickers, static stickers or whatnot, that you can put on your, on your car, on your Bolt EV, that indicate that you've had either the battery pack replaced under the recall, or you got the software update done. Uh, it's uh, right now the wording said that it was either or it didn't say both i assume that the software updates are happening with the battery recall i know some people commented on previous videos that they got the battery pack replaced and no software updates were done and nothing was written or mentioned on their you know on the documentation they got from the repair facility that did the uh, replacement so I don't know. I personally can't vouch for any of that. I have not had the pleasure of getting my, uh, uh, you know, uh, recall stuff taken care of. I did not get the software update. I did not, um, you know, basically do anything. I, I've talked to our local dealership and they're just going like line item by line item. So they have a list and that list is lengthy and my VIN number was nowhere near on it. So I don't know. I can't speak for my luck when it comes to the recall. Maybe at some point, you know, if I make enough noise, somebody will notice and and do something about it. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. My car has been great. I have no problem charging it to, you know, 85, 90% and not running it down all the way. Um, right now, I'm actually at 80% because I drove it a little bit the last few days to my office and back but I haven't serviced any clients this year yet, so I've been taking it easy. Um, especially with back pains, it's really hard to drive far, so until I figure out a good routine for my back and, and strengthen some of the muscles back there, I'm probably not gonna be going on site anytime soon, but that's okay because I have piles and piles and stuff to do um, that I can do through the internet for all of our clients, so that's not a problem. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. I uh, Welcome back uh, to the videos. Uh, I've had some uh, new comments uh, show up in my mailbox today. So I'm going to go uh, into my house here and I'm going to answer each and every single one of you because you guys are awesome. And I believe we should start off uh, 2022 on the best foot possible. 
and that's it. <laughs> Happy New Year to everybody. I wish for all the best and in health and and luck and happiness and, and whatever else that can come out of it. Um, all the good fortunes to everybody who uh, is in our community. And as always, go down below, drop your thoughts. Love to hear from you guys as always. Um, and until next time, I'm going to start doing more of these. So be on the lookout. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really does help uh, get those numbers up and get our videos out into the into the world for everybody to see. So in the meantime, have a good evening and thank you for watching.